this uh, this act is done, or at least it's as done as it can be before I perform it in front of an audience. This act kind of ended up being powered by magnets. I got my magnetic bucket, my magnetic bottle, like my magnetic cups, my magnetic cup board, cup, my cupboard, my spoons, which aren't magnetic, but you can do magnetic things with them. And this is my first time using magnets in any of my juggling props, so I wasn't really sure what the what the thing you could do with them was. And I found some very interesting rog. Some things that can only be done with the magnet. Some things are substantially easier with the magnets, and some things I found with the magnets, but I could do them without them. But I couldn't have gotten to them without playing with the magnets, if you know what I'm saying. And all of this magnet manipulation has been making me think about just magnets and in what context can they be used. A lot of people seem to think that no trickery of any sort should be involved in your juggling. They often talk about the purity of the skill of juggling is what makes it interesting. Or they think that's what makes juggling cool or cooler than magic, I guess. Personally, I think there's a lot more reasons why juggling is cooler than magic, but that's not really what this video is about. This video is about in what cases magnets are appropriate in juggling. Most people seem to agree that if a magnet is used to further the capabilities of a prop and create new shapes and ideas, that's okay. Good use of a magnet. But my question is what situation is not okay to use a magnet? And in what situation would it not further the possibilities of a prop? A lot of people were saying that if you try to hide the magnet, that it's not a appropriate use of a magnet in a juggling trick. But would you say that me throwing the bucket onto the club is trying to hide the magnet? I don't think it's hiding anything. It looks like there's a magnet in there to me, but I don't show the audience examples of it being magnetic. Would it be more impressive if I did it without a magnet? Yes. Would it be worth it? Probably not. I feel like most audiences don't care if there's a magnet in there or not. And if there wasn't, I wouldn't be able to do the follow-up trick of throwing the bottle into the bucket. I really feel like there's no bad way of using a magnet in a juggling trick. Whether it's to make the trick easier, like the bucket flip, or modifying a prop to make a new trick, or even modifying a prop to trick and surprise the audience. They're all good and they're all broadening juggling in their own way. So why are jugglers so obsessed with not hiding anything to the audience? Not hiding their trick. Why does it have to be so obvious that there's no gimmicks? Why do we not want to be seen as someone who does the impossible? Who breaks the laws of physics? Someone who challenges the audience's knowledge of how objects are supposed to work. I don't know, what do you think? Is using magnets bad? Is there a good way to do it? Is there a bad way to do it? Personally, like I said, I think it's all good. It's all interesting. And there's so much to be found that hasn't been discovered yet. Hi everyone. So that was my last ROG vlog of the year. Just pretend that I put it out in 2022. I was doing a lot of stuff. If you wanna see the full act that I'm talking about with those bottles and the magnets, it's up on my Patreon right there. I got a lot of big things planned for ROG vlog next year. Super excited, gonna go on a little hiatus so I can get everything together. And as always, you know, the video is only a little part of the discussion. Leave a comment if you have something that you think is important to add to this topic or something that I missed. I'd love to hear all of it. Okay, goodbye.